What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 has a new task manager. It's about time. It was in Windows 8 when uh, Microsoft finally updated the old uh, task manager. And that was 10 years ago when Microsoft released an update for the task manager. And that was in Windows 8. You can see here in Windows 11 and Windows 10, this will be the look that you will get right now if you look inside task manager. Of course, we now have uh, the Windows 11 operating system, which means they are going through some major changes with the way Windows 11 looks and feels and the way uh, we use Windows. So you can see here, there is a tool that's been created so we can take a sneak peek of the new task manager inside uh, Windows 11. Now, it's not going to be released just yet to the general public. It's still in the insider program. So you need to use this tool to take a peek of it and you need to use a certain build so we can take a look at it. Let me extract these files and I'll show you exactly uh, what it looks like so you can see it as well. Now, the thing is you have to remember here is it's still very buggy and it's still in the design process. So it's not completely finished yet. So I need to extract these to my desktop here. Now you won't need to download and install these files once Microsoft released the update. Of course, it will be built into Windows. But to take a look at the hidden uh, task manager, we need to use this to have a look at it because Microsoft haven't released it just yet. So this is a way that we can take a sneak peek. So you can either put them in a folder or you can copy these into the uh, Windows System 32 directory here so we can uh, have a look. So I'm just going to drop them in here. They're completely safe and they're just basically a way that we can have a look at it. Now I'm in a virtual machine, so I'm not doing this on my main system. This is on a test system. So we need to put a check mark in here, do this to all the current files and items. So click on this and this will put the files in our system 32 directory here. Now you can run it from the desktop in a folder if you wish. Uh, but I'm going to be doing it this way because this is a virtual machine and it doesn't really matter because it's a test machine. So I'm going to now open up our command prompt. So we need to open up command prompt, run this as administrator here. You should see a, a prompt box popping up here. Now we need to put in here four commands. And like I said before, once we get the final release, you won't need to be doing any of this stuff. This is just so we can see what the new version looks like. So I'm going to type these commands in here or copy and paste them in and uh, this will be a lot more easier. So let me just go ahead and put these four commands in here and push enter. And you should see uh, this is successively set up OK. So I'm going to quickly copy and paste these in. Shouldn't take too long here. And once this is done, we need to uh, restart our PC. And once we restart our PC, we should be able to see the new uh, task manager. Now, again, when is this going to be released to the general public? I don't know. It's going to be a few months yet before you see it in your Windows uh, 11 operating system. So you're just going to have to wait until Microsoft release it in a feature update to you guys. So let's go ahead and uh, close these off here and restart the system. So the uh, settings will take effect. So I'm just going to quickly restart the computer and then we'll get back to the desktop and take a look at it. Now, if you want to take a look at this yourself, you need to download the Windows 11 dev build 22538. Now, you can get the ISO file online or you can join the Windows 11 Insider program. It's entirely up to you which way you go about uh, doing it. And then you can install this onto a virtual machine. You have to use the bypass because obviously it's not a real computer and you'll get this is not a supported uh, system. And you can bypass that. And I've made videos how to do that on a VM. So you can check that video out. So here we have the new looking task manager here. You can see we do have those icons down the side, left hand side here. And we also have these up here, which gives you your CPU, GPU, memory, disk and network, which is quite useful because a lot of people tend to have to, uh, you know, open up a bunch of tabs and it's right there in front of you when you open up um, your task manager. Now you've also got the same usual run new task, end task, and so on here. You've got these new icons down the left-hand side here where it shows you your services. And you can click on other areas like this one here, which is your details. And you've also got user accounts down here as well, which you can click on as well. And it will show you your user accounts. And then you can click on uh, some other ones along here as well, like your startup apps, which gives you access to your startup apps. 
So nothing much has changed. It's just tying the look in with the uh, new look in Windows 11. So I think they're trying to move away from that old uh, look and get to this new sort of style of task manager, which I like quite a lot. So you can see we've got some other areas here which you can take a look at here. You can right click on these. Now this is not fully functional as of yet, but it will do on full release when it comes to you guys. And you can see here we still got that uh, graph here for the CPU, memory, and your disk and Ethernet along here as well. So you can check all this out inside the task manager as well. And you can see all your apps and processes, all that stuff there. And you've got your other menu style here as well if you click on this one. Now you can still customize this like you could in the old one by right clicking on here and adding more items like uh, PID and things like that, just like you could in the older version of the uh, task manager here. So when this is finally released to you guys, it will come through a Windows update, like a feature update, I should imagine, and you will get that downloaded to you. This is in the Insider Program dev uh, channel, so it's not going to be available to you guys unless you're running a certain type of Windows 11 build because it doesn't work with all Windows 11 builds. You need to be using uh, this build down here. I'll show you here. I'll open up the Winver here so you can see the build number that you need to be running to be able to take a look at it yourself and some of the newer features that are coming in the future. And you can see here, uh, dev uh, 22538. That's the uh, version that you need to be running here to be able to see uh, this task manager. So it's got a bit of a way to go before they release it to us guys. Uh, so just be patient and you will be seeing that new task manager and probably some other things that come out with a feature update. Now, there's one thing I want to cover here just to make sure you understand, because I see people coming into Discord and they're having issues with Windows 11. And it's not they're having issues with Windows 11. It's the fact that they're installing Windows 11 insider builds on their main system. And then there's having issues where it's going to start to expire and there's other bugs and stuff like that that they're seeing with the Windows 11. And of course, then they will say Windows 11 is just junk. And it's not. It's just because they are using an early build of Windows 11. So if you are installing Windows 11, make sure you get the latest stable release, which is to the general public, which you can download from Microsoft's website. And you can download and install that onto your system. If you want to mess around with it and see some early releases and things like that, you can do. But do that on a virtual machine or on a spare computer that you're not using as your daily driver. And this way you can avoid any sort of issues that you may run into. And of course, these earlier builds will have some bugs in them and other things like that. And this is why they have an insider program so people can join that and play around with uh, the newer settings that are coming out. And obviously this gives data and feedback to Microsoft so they know when to release this to the general public. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. And I shall see you again real soon for another video. Bye for now.